This is News Trail, your daily dose. It's Thursday, 8th September 2022. Welcome to News Trail. I am Adetola Kayode. President Muhammadu Buhari on Wednesday played host to former President Goodluck Jonathan, who is also the ECOWAS special envoy to Mali, pledging Nigeria's commitment to promoting peace and harmony among ECOWAS countries. He was speaking on the face-off between Mali and Cote d'Ivoire over detained Ivorian soldiers. About 49 of them had been detained in Mali for unlawful entry, and only the three females in the team have been released, leaving 46, and the development is threatening a rupture in the relationship between the two countries. Cote d'Ivoire has condemned the act as hostage taking and says it may take action, hence the need for intervention of ECOWAS leaders as advocated by the special envoy, former President Goodluck Jonathan. President Buhari pledged an initiative from Nigeria towards immediate resolution of the impasse. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has begun recruitment of ad hoc staff for the 2023 general elections. The Electoral Empire has called on interested and eligible persons to visit its designated portal, which opens on Wednesday, 14th September, and ends on the 30th November 2022. The Commission has approved the reactivation of INEC Press, both the mobile app for Android phones only and the web portal for laptops only for all categories of ad hoc staff except collation officers. INEC INEC Chairman Mahmoud Yakubu had said come September 20, it will publish the final list of presidential and National Assembly candidates, while campaigns will officially begin on September 28. In his nightly video address, Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky says he has good news, claiming the recapture of several settlements from Russia. Rumors have swelled for days about a possible breakthrough in the eastern Kharkiv region, but with no word from Ukrainian officials. Mr. Zelensky declined to name which places had been retaken, saying now is not the time to name them. Separately, U.S. officials say Ukraine was making slow but meaningful progress against Russian forces. Zelensky he says every citizen must feel proud of the soldiers naming specific military units and applauding their bravery in combat. Ukraine has tightened its operational security in recent weeks, sharing few details about a widely expected counteroffensive in the east and south. And that's it on Newstro for today. Many thanks for connecting. Please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, News Trail. And always remember to do something every day that will inch you closer to a better tomorrow. Have a fantastic one.